Macquarie University receives only 200 billion shillings each financial year, short of the 400 billion needed to run the institution in an academic year. To meet the financial gap, the University Council introduced a policy which made it mandatory for students to pay up to 60% of their tuition by the 12th week of every semester. That system has now been scrapped, but the University Council worries that some activities at that public institution could be seriously affected. Every month we collect about 2.5 billion actually to pay the what to top up the, the salaries of the staff, the utilities. Okay. Government does not pay the entire bill for electricity. Part of the money comes from, from here. Electricity, bandwidth, we co-share with the government. Yeah. You have seen our halls of residence. We have the halls of residence are in poor condition, actually. Toilets, the system, water system is not working. The university's vice chancellor, Professor John Dumba Sentamu, however, says a new tuition policy is being drafted. Tuition policy, to me, which has been revoked, is for the subsequent what semesters. In any case, the government said when we are having the interaction, say come up with the new measures. Look at the law. I mean at the policy. So we are going to look at this policy and as I said we are going to consult widely. And actually we have said actually I'm having tomorrow management meeting to start initiating to start on this process of coming up with the, with the new policy. On Wednesday, Thursday I'm having Senate and I'm going to introduce the topic to them. And the committee will be put in place, come up with a what? With the, the new policy. Among the proposals the university is considering is involving parents in drafting the terms and method of payment for tuition. One of the things we are thinking about is to encourage parents to pay using bank, draft, draft, bank drafts. Because we, have, we know it's common knowledge that these students, they get the money, they use it for what? For betting, it's for money lenders, they are in business, okay? So, and a number of parents are not aware of what's going on in this university. A number of students use the money to buy drugs. I believe strongly that McKinley has a big financial capacity even to run itself as a university. Uh, I think if they got some of that money and invested it in, uh, and, and invested it, uh, in some sectors, that would do, uh, return money to them. I think it would help even to lighten the burden on the students, uh, on the students and their pay payment of fees. Uh, this land, we can build what we call a research, in partnership with the government, what we call an international tropical research hospital. And this land, and we've got better partners, and there's a lot of money from that area. So this thing, it, 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 it can stop that because you can generate a lot of money from research by having, creating partnerships by establishing a hospital. These are long-term plans, actually. Setting up a, a, a company today, you can't get a full the following day, okay? But otherwise, we have a plan for setting up what? Uh, a five-star hotel where the guest house is. But as the council struggles to resolve the students' grievances, it has emerged that the entire university staff have not been paid their allowances for the last five months, totaling to about 18 billion shillings. I'd like to appeal to the staff to understand, to appreciate what's going on in this university. Come Friday, I, I can assure you, this university doesn't have the money to pay uh, for these allowances of five months. Okay. And we are hoping, or we've been hoping that if the students pay, we shall be doing what? Paying them.